Sunday and welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, my name is Stav. This is my channel. She equips herself. I talk about concealed carry and lots of other topics. So thank you for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you're all staying indoors so we can get rid of this corona thing as fast as we can. But while you're inside, you can check out some of my videos, including this one where I'm going to tell you guys all about this concealment purse by Roma Leathers Inc. There's one specific feature that I really, really like about this bag that I was very excited about. So let's get started and I'll tell you all about this bag. There we go, now we're recording. When I first started concealed carrying, I did not like the idea of carrying off my body in something like a purse or a backpack or a computer bag or something like that. It just seemed a little less safe than carrying on my body, so I was kind of afraid of it. The more I've carried a gun, the more I've realized that carrying in a bag is a good option sometimes, depending on your situation. For instance, if you're wearing a romper, if you're wearing a jumpsuit, if you're wearing a skirt or a dress that maybe you really can't conceal on your leg, if it's winter time and you have a long coat on and you can't draw your gun that's on your waist, a purse might be a good option if you know you're gonna be walking around so you're gonna have your bag on you the whole time. If you know you're going somewhere where you're gonna be tempted to leave your bag, then don't carry in a purse because you have to have it with you at all times. You don't want someone else gaining access to your gun. So concealed carry purses definitely have their benefits and this one in particular I really, really like. This is the Essential Leather Concealment Crossbody Bag by Roma Leathers Inc. And it comes in seven different colors. It's made of real cowhide leather and it's really good quality. I always recommend a really strong strap. I really like reinforced straps with wire through them so that they can't be cut and taken from you. This one also has this really nice stitching along the strap and right here where it kind of connects. You can see that stitching right there. It's really strong. It's also adjustable. It's got this here so you can adjust it. This strap also comes off. These loops disconnect and you can take the straps off and just carry it like this. If you're gonna be carrying a gun in it, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend carrying it crossbody because that's gonna give you the most security. This bag has one big pocket right here in the front and it has this twistable, what do you call this? Like a lock buckle? I don't know. Anyway, you twist this and you can get it open. And it's got that nice big pocket right there. Also a pocket right here, like that. On the back, there's a zippered pocket right here. The inside has a zippered compartment, like a, a big one on the back, and then two smaller pockets on the front. And the inside looks like that. Where does the gun go, you might ask? Well, it has a zipper on the left and the right side of the back of the bag and that's the compartment where your gun goes. It has Velcro straps running through both sides and it comes with its own Velcro holster for your gun. This also comes with a strap that I think is used to adjust how tight the holster is. Here's my empty gun, my Smith & Wesson shield, and an empty magazine. And here is the holster that came with the purse. So you put your gun in like that, and then you put this whole thing right in that zippered compartment. See, you can see my gun in there. It's securely in place because of that Velcro holster. When I got this bag and I was kind of exploring its features and everything, I kind of freaked out when I found this one. It has these two keys right here and I thought that that was just like a decorative little keychain. It also has it on the other side, right here. That's not a decoration. These are actually keys that lock this compartment. See this? That's a lock. So you can actually take your little key, put it in that lock, turn it, and it locks the zipper. Like you can't, you can't unzip this, it's locked. Isn't that so cool? I was so excited when I figured that out because that's just a really cool feature to have. You can lock the compartment where your gun is in the bag. How cool is that? And it's on each zipper for that compartment so you can lock both of them and you get two keys per lock. So that means for this bag, since it has two sides that unzip the concealment pocket, I have four keys for those locks. Really cool feature, very thoughtful of them to add that to the bag. As with any sort of holster, make sure that you can get to your gun. So practice your draw a lot from a purse because it's obviously going to be a little different than carrying right on your body. My gun is a Smith & Wesson shield. It's a subcompact. 
so you can see how well it fits in there. If you have a larger gun, let's see if that'll fit in here as well. I'll go grab a bigger gun and show you guys what that looks like. Okay, I've just grabbed a Glock 35, which is quite a bit bigger than my little shield right here. It's a longer barrel, longer grip. So let's see if that'll fit in here. Wow, I'm surprised. Okay, you can fit a full-size firearm in this holster because of the opening here. The gun can just slip right through and it'll cover the trigger. So let's see how that fits in the bag. All right, so I've got the Glock in here right now. Let's see if I had to draw this, if it would work. Okay, it's possible. That's good to know. Another reason I like purse carry is that it allows you to carry a larger gun than you might be able to conceal on your body. This I can conceal no problem on my body any day of the week. But something like this is a little more difficult for me to conceal just because of how big it is and how small I am. But if you have a purse that fits a big gun like this and you shoot this well and you like to train with it and this is your carry gun, then maybe you're just gonna carry in a purse and that's fine. Glocky Glock. I love this gun. I always recommend to carry a purse crossbody if you have a gun in it because it just adds an extra layer of protection and security and it's just closer to your body that way rather than slinging it over your shoulder where it can just be taken right off your shoulder. If you're looking for a concealed carry purse, I have no complaints about this bag. I love it. The company is giving me a discount for my viewers, so if you look at the description below in this video, you can find the information so you can get a discount and buy this bag. They have so many cute bags on their website, all sorts of different crossbody bags, clutches, fanny packs, all sorts of things. So check out their website, click the link below, and use my discount code if you want to buy one of their bags. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you like it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of carrying off body because I was kind of iffy about it when I first started carrying, but now I do see the value in it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Leave them below. Leave me a message on Instagram. Find me somewhere. I'm all over social media. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day. Make sure you practice your social distancing. Stay away from each other as much as you can so that we can get out of our houses finally. Thank you so much to all the nurses and doctors, first responders out there who have to go to work and deal with all this stuff on a daily basis, the truckers, everybody. So thank you for those of you who have to go to work, but for everybody else, stay inside and stay safe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.